the internet community was taken by storm when a startling drone image emerged from the depths of the Cornabill exclusion zone. The subsequent events were nothing short of remarkable. Anticipation grew as people awaited the revelation of what lay hidden in the dense forests of Cornabill. Amid the oppressive stillness that dominated this abandoned territory, a sudden, eerie cry shattered the silence, catching the attention of all who heard it. Alex Liam an ecologist celebrated for his extensive research on the rebound of wildlife in the exclusion zone, was monitoring his drone feed with bated breath. The unsettling sound had been picked up by his drone as it hovered above the thick undergrowth. As the drone continued its flight, the cries grew louder and more urgent, compelled by a mix of intrigue and concern. Alex adjusted the drone's camera to focus on a small clearing under the tree canopy. The sight that greeted him sent shivers down his spine, camouflaged by dense foliage. A young bear cub was ensnared in a rusty, jagged metal trap, the merciless device clamped cruelly around the cub's leg, and with every attempt to free itself, the animal's cries escalated into heart-rending screams. From a safe distance, Alex watched helplessly as the cub's desperate pleas echoed through the forest, given the high levels of radiation and unpredictable terrain. Venturing alone into the Cornabill exclusion zone for a rescue was far too risky. With no other immediate options available, Alex did the only thing he could. He called for backup. He reached out to the Cornabill Wildlife Management Team, a unit of specialists trained to deal with such emergencies. They were equipped with the necessary protective gear and possessed the expertise required to navigate the dangerous landscape safely. Time was of the essence, as the longer the cub remained trapped the higher the risk to its survival. As Alex anxiously awaited the rescue team's arrival, he kept the drone positioned over the cub, recording every moment of the ordeal. Suddenly, the sound of rustling leaves drew his attention. Zooming in on the source, Alex's heart skipped a beat. The cub's mother was approaching swiftly, her presence imposing and demanding respect. She moved with purpose, evidently distressed by her cub's cries. Upon reaching the clearing, she immediately set about trying to free her cub, using her powerful paws to wrestle with the unyielding trap. Despite her desperate efforts, the stubborn metal refused to release its grip. The cub's cries softened, turning into whimpers of pain as its mother's attempts inadvertently intensified its suffering. The situation was dire, and it was clear that the cub needed more than what its mother could provide alone. Alex watched in a mix of horror and fascination as a mother bear struggled frantically to free her cub caught in a metal trap. The desperation was palpable, evident even through the grainy footage captured by Alex's drone, hovering above the dramatic scene in the desolate expanses of Cornabill. With each futile attempt to open the trap, the metal clamped further into the young bear's flesh, eliciting heart-wrenching whimpers of pain, pausing in her efforts. The mother bear tenderly licked her cub's head, trying to soothe its distress. From his remote location, Alex anxiously awaited the arrival of the rescue team. To raise awareness and mobilize support, he decided to use social media as a platform. He crafted a cryptic post hinting at his drone's discovery within the haunting solitude of the Cornabill Exclusion Zone. Unbelievable discovery in the Cornabill Exclusion Zone. Stay tuned for more, he wrote. Attaching a poignant photo of the mother bear charging towards her ensnared cub. The post quickly caught the attention of the online community, sparking a flurry of curiosity and concern. As the image began to circulate, it caught the eyes of influencers, conservationists, and wildlife enthusiasts who dissected every detail, eager to uncover the mystery behind the scene. The hashtag hashtag showbarescue started trending. With online communities engaging in heated discussions about the significance of the image and eagerly awaiting further updates, major media outlets soon picked up the story. Amplifying the reach and intensity of the situation, people around the globe were glued to their screens, captivated by the unfolding drama in one of the planet's most isolated and haunting landscapes. What had started as a routine aerial survey by Alex quickly escalated into a global sensation. With the poignant images of the distressed cub and its frantic mother striking a chord across the internet, as Alex continued to monitor the situation through his drone, a chilling realization dawned on him. He spotted three figures stealthily navigating through the underbrush, their faces obscured by masks designed to protect against radiation. Their movements were calculated and purposeful, not those of ordinary forest goers or local wildlife officers. But poachers lured by the rare sighting of the bears, the masks barely hid their nefarious intentions, and Alex could discern the outlines of tranquilizer guns and other hunting equipment. With the bears now vulnerable and exposed, the poachers advanced with a clear, ominous plan, 
Realizing the immediate danger, Alex's heart sank. He knew he had to act swiftly to protect the bears. In a frantic plea for help, he called the animal care service. Urging them to hasten their efforts as the situation grew increasingly perilous, the message reassured him that backup, including a specialized unit of forest rangers, was dispatched without delay to assist in this critical situation. Understanding the urgency, Alex remained focused on the unfolding events. The poachers, oblivious to the imminent danger of being caught, continued their nefarious activities near the bears. The mother bear, instinctively aware of the looming threat, emitted a low, threatening growl, trying her best to shield her cub from harm. Despite her efforts, one poacher, with calculated precision, lifted his tranquilizer gun and took aim. A dart whistled through the air, striking the mother bear squarely in the shoulder. Her anguished roar echoed through the forest as the tranquilizer swiftly coursed through her veins. Within seconds, the once formidable creature weakened and crumpled to the forest floor. Unconscious, horrified. Alex watched from a distance as the poachers casually approached the incapacitated bear. They briefly examined the cub, ensured the trap was secure, and whispered among themselves about the best way to extract the cub quietly. Their intentions were unmistakably malicious subdue the mother bear, abduct the cub, and disappear before any intervention could occur. In a desperate bid to buy time for the reinforcements to arrive, Alex employed his drone to create confusion and delay the poachers. He maneuvered the drone to fly lower, its buzzing more pronounced as it hovered near the poachers. Drawing their startled glances, as the drone darted close, swooping aggressively, one poacher swung at it in irritation, cursing under his breath as it evaded his grasp. This blasted thing is going to expose us, he yelled, vexation clear in his tone, shoot it down, another demanded, taking his rifle and aiming skyward. Skillfully, Alex navigated the drone dodging bullets and swooping past their heads. Each maneuver caused the poachers to duck and swerve, disrupting their focus and escalating their frustration. As they bickered among themselves, their scheme began to fall apart. The pressure of the ticking clock now evident, Alex persisted with his aerial distractions, altering the drone's altitude and speed, pushing his skills to the limits to maintain the poachers on edge. He watched the chaotic scene through his monitor, knowing that while his tactics might not deter them indefinitely, Every second gain was crucial, his phone buzzed again. This time with a message confirming that the forest rangers were only moments away, relief washed over Alex as he continued to monitor the situation, hopeful that help would arrive in time to thwart the poachers' plans and ensure the safety of the bears. The poachers, realizing their desperate situation, eventually surrendered to the forest guards. Earlier that day, Alex received an urgent call from the head of the forest guard unit, which propelled him into action. We're almost at the location, Alex, the guard had informed him. Do whatever you can to prevent those poachers from escaping with the bears. We'll handle the rest upon our arrival. With his heart pounding, Alex intensified his efforts. He maneuvered the drone skillfully, pushing it to its aerial limits. He was acutely aware that time was of the essence. If the poachers sensed that their window was closing, they might take drastic, possibly harmful actions against the bears. Alex's strategy was to maintain the poacher's confusion and foster a sense of isolation, making them believe they were alone in the forest with no imminent danger other than his drone hovering above. Meanwhile, the forest guard unit was rapidly making their way to the scene, their vehicles powered through the forest's dense underbrush, expertly handling the challenging terrain as they neared the clearing where the drama was unfolding. The guards, armed and ready were well prepared for such encounters, their training specifically tailored to handle wildlife poaching incidents efficiently and safely. Back at the clearing, tension among the poachers was escalating, the relentless buzzing of the drone overhead frayed their nerves. Despite their efforts to free a bear cub caught in a trap, the persistent drone made it difficult for them to leave the scene unnoticed. The leader of the poachers, growing increasingly frustrated, finally snapped. Forget the drone, he barked at his crew. Grab the cub and let's move out before we have more trouble. As they initiated their escape, the distinct sound of approaching engines cut through the forest's tranquility, growing louder with each passing second. The poachers halted, their heads whipping towards the noise. It was too late. They had been discovered, panicked and realizing they were outnumbered and outmatched. The lead poacher threw his tranquilizer gun to the ground in defeat. Signaling to his accomplices to abandon their plan and retreat, they left the cub and its mother behind and dashed into the dense underbrush, attempting a futile escape. Moments later, the forest guard vehicles burst into the clearing, 
their headlights pierced the darkness, casting long shadows among the trees, the guards disembarked swiftly, their weapons at the ready, and began scanning the area for any sign of the fleeing poachers, one guard raised his hand, signaling the others to fan out and secure the perimeter, Alex, observing the scene through his drone's camera, watched as the guards efficiently organized themselves to secure the area, despite the poachers' attempts to evade capture, the guards, who were well-trained and intimately familiar with the forest terrain, quickly surrounded them, effectively cutting off all possible escape routes, the poachers, cornered and with no options left, surrendered to the authorities. Blocked by the swift and precise movements of the forest guard unit, the poachers found themselves trapped, hands in the air, don't move, commanded one of the guards as they swiftly surrounded the group, realizing they had no way out, the poachers reluctantly raised their hands and let their weapons fall to the ground, no longer capable of resisting arrest, the guards quickly handcuffed the men and escorted them back to the clearing, in the meantime, the rest of the rescue team attended to the bears, the mother bear lay unconscious, sedated by a tranquilizer, leaving her in a defenseless state, the team acted quickly to stabilize her, meticulously checking her vital signs to ensure her safety, a veterinarian attended to the cub, noting that while its injuries were serious, they were not fatal, however, these injuries were severe enough to compromise its survival in the wild, with this assessment. It was decided that both the mother bear and her cub needed to be transferred to a wildlife rehabilitation center to recover and regain their strength. As the guards led the captured poachers through the clearing, Alex maneuvered the drone overhead, capturing every moment of the unfolding scene. This footage would later serve as a poignant narrative and a stark reminder of the ongoing threats to wildlife in the Cornabill area, decades after the catastrophic nuclear disaster. The lead forest guard approached the tranquilized mother bear, surveying the situation and then turning to his team, he praised their efforts, good work, everyone, he affirmed with authority, let's ensure the bears are transported to safety, he instructed, gesturing towards the handcuffed poachers, who now faced a long stint behind bars, the poachers, their expressions a mix of anger and resignation, remained silent as they were loaded into a vehicle. Fully aware that they had been caught red-handed and there was no escaping justice this time, as the poachers were taken away, the animal care team jumped into action, placing priority on the injured cub. The cub received dedicated care, while the mother bear was gently placed on a stretcher and secured for transport. The accompanying veterinarian provided critical care, administering pain relief and thoroughly assessing the cub's injuries to ensure its condition remained stable. Extra precautions were taken to keep the cub comfortable, with the team closely monitoring its vital signs and making the necessary adjustments to its treatment regimen. The relentless efforts of the animal care team ensured that the cub was in the best hands as it embarked on a journey towards recovery and a new chance at life. As Alex continued to operate his drone, a profound sense of relief swept through him. The day had been fraught with tension, and it was only through the swift and decisive actions of the rescue team that a crisis had been averted. Alex's thoughts were preoccupied with the day's harrowing events. Initially, his journey to Cornabill was intended to be a straightforward study of the area's wildlife. However, he unexpectedly found himself at the heart of a gripping narrative of survival, a relentless contest between the natural world and those seeking to exploit it. As the rescue team efficiently loaded the bears into their transport vehicles, Alex felt his phone buzz with an incoming message from the wildlife conservation organization with which he had been in frequent contact. They had reviewed the drone footage he sent and were eager to discuss a collaboration on a project aimed at raising awareness of the threats to the wildlife in Cornabill. Let's talk when you get back, the message suggested. Your footage could be the cornerstone of a new campaign to safeguard these creatures. We'll provide all the support you need. A smile crossed Alex's face, buoyed by a renewed sense of purpose. The footage he had captured transcended its role as mere documentation, it had become a potent instrument for advocacy and change, the survival of the bears was merely the start, now, he was committed to ensuring the protection of Cornabill's wildlife for future generations. As the forest guards transported the bears to a safe location, Alex took a moment to update his eagerly waiting online followers, his previous vague post had left thousands in suspense, but now it was time to reveal the full narrative. The cub and the mother are safe, he typed. The rescue mission was a success, and both bears are on their way to a rehabilitation center, and it wasn't just about the bears. We also encountered poachers, he continued, they've been apprehended. 
and the complete footage will be shared soon. The internet community immediately burst into a buzz of celebration and relief. Within hours, Alex's update had gained significant traction, captivating a global audience and touching the hearts of millions around the world. The unfolding story of the mother bear and her cub, coupled with the dramatic twist involving the poacher's arrest, spurred a broad discussion on wildlife conservation, overwhelmed by the widespread attention. Alex realized that this moment transcended mere viral fame, it was a pivotal opportunity to highlight the enduring challenges facing the wildlife of Cornabill, as organizations from around the globe reached out to collaborate, eager to utilize his footage to support conservation efforts. Alex recognized the profound impact of his work, the bears were now safe, the poachers had been apprehended, and the world was now attentive. Ready to contribute to the protection of the fragile wilderness in Cornabill, this astonishing photo from the Cornabill forest reveals an incredible discovery, highlighting nature's resilience and the ongoing threats from poachers, even in areas that are off-limits. What steps do you think should be taken to protect wildlife in places like Cornabill? Have you ever witnessed or heard about an unexpected animal rescue? Please share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like. Share and subscribe for more inspiring stories of nature and survival. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for our next adventure.